hey everyone, everyone in better building better balance land. Uh, today we're going to do the first four forms of the Tai Chi Kwan for better balance. Uh, starting in your narrow closed and just taking a moment, the fingertips reach down, the feet reach down, root down to rise up and making sure your ears are over your shoulders. You're not doing that forward head tilt. Taking a moment to just put your hands on your lower belly, your lower, it's called Dantian, and breathing in and out, feeling your hands gently rise on the inhale, and the hands gently lower on the exhale. We wanna make sure we're in our breath, we're, we're calm, we're centered, while we're doing movement. And then letting the hands be by your side, soft elbows, not rigid here. It's called the four bows, soft elbows, soft shoulders, knees bent. Stepping out, doesn't matter which foot, coming into about hips distance apart, knees are bent, they're soft, ground down to rise up. This is our Burmese mountain dog pose. So we are standing our ground, tall, lifted through the heart. Starting with the warm up of preparation. So the hands drift up, gently come down. See how my palms are up? Like I'm tracing a waterfall. We'll do this three times. I can add perturbation, which means I'm going off the base of the support, reaching more forward, bum is back. I can lift my toes, lift my heels, lift my toes, lift my heels. Shifting the ball, moving the moon or a ball, hold it on, so rub your hands together, a ball shape, small ball. And we're going to tip it or spin it to our left hip, weight shift. Bring it to center, right at your belly button, right shift. So I'm emptying the weight. If all my weight's now in this right leg, I can step in. Center, left. Take time to practice this, because this is basic mechanics of good balance, that we're not moving and the weight is still back here and this does, isn't strong enough. Squeeze these muscles, put your hands here, and push against your hands with those muscles. We can add a little bit of a weight shift, turn, wind up, turn, so I'm making this muscle engaged as I turn towards it. Then let the hands go. I'm going to grasp the moon. My elbows relax, it's not here. My hands are holding the moon, one on top of each other. I'm going to shift the weight to my right, step in, corner or straight ahead step, heel ball toe as I toss the moon Circle, circle, at my right hip, weight is back. Hands compress the moon, we toss it, this hand just blocks, circle, circle. This is called parting the wild horse's mane. I've done three, I'm going to hug a tree, round, step back, bring it to where I started, center, other side, shift the weight, pour out this leg till it's empty. It's empty, now I pick it up, not sooner. Heel ball toe, I'm gonna compress the moon and as my heel ball toe, toss it. Circle, circle, weight is back. I'm gonna back up a little bit here. Heel ball toe, heel ball toe. I can add perturbation by lifting that back heel, which you asked, or 
picking up the foot. So just play with that. Maybe you will aim for that. Perpetuation. I'm away from my base of support. Back. Find it on your right hip. So right hip. You have to copy me because I'm giving you instructions based on that. I'm going to make a hook and it's not here, it's not here. Relaxed elbow. All my fingers are touching the thumb so I'm getting some wrist work. And from here I'm going to empty out the left, step in. I'm opening up my hip by going to the corner. My toe, my knees falling my toe. So open up that hip, open it up, and from here, whip, sink, rise, weight shift, right, center, left, stop, sink, little leg work. I've done my three, this hand's going to join it, I'm going a little off weight, I'm pick, on my toe, I can pick up my foot. I'm gonna grasp the ball, spin it, take it to my left hip, empty out, it's empty. Now I step, open the hip, turn that knee out. Not this, open it up, heel ball toe, make the hook, whip comes up cross, stop. So I'm bending both knees. I'm solid here. Shift weight, whip, stop, shift weight, come center. See how my hand, I'm centered. My hand's in the center. Now the weight's over here. I'm going to add reach a little out of my base of support here base of support off of it reach maybe get on the tippy toe lift that toe and now bring it down feet are hips distance apart my left hand's going to scoop go shoulder to shoulder looking now my right hand follows wave hands like clouds this is your fourth form out of eight. So you're turning your head, you're turning from your waist. The waist is the ruler. All the work comes from the center of gravity. Center of gravity. So I'm not wrenching my shoulders, not wrenching my hips, turning like my belly button is a lighthouse or a beam of light. And then we'll close it, hands by your sides. I can bring here, or I can shift the weight here. And then just take a moment, bow, and we will go on next week for forms five through eight. Thanks a bunch, everyone. I know it's a lot to do. Remember the footwork. Day one, sit to stand and all the four. Day two, that grapevine. There's a video, please use them. This is on my time, I'm not being paid for this, okay? This is my gift to you, please use it. And then we'll work, work on that fit footwork. Oh, here comes trouble, hi. This is Matilda Jean, and that's Lydia. And then start doing relaxed, relaxed. This Tai Chi is not relaxed. You can do it seated just to start getting part the wild horse's mane. Part the wild horse's mane. Open up, single whip. You can do it seated to start getting the movement patterns. This is getting your brain working. Your brain digs this stuff. It digs learning new challenges. Miss y'all ready. See you later.